Stockmate allows users to record and report on calving and livestock births, parentage and various performance traits. Session templates can be adjusted to record these details on the app and on the web and breeding data can be exported via CSV from the website for use with breed societies and central breed databases. We will start by setting up a scan session on the tablet to record livestock births. Select New Scan Session. In this instance, we will set the property to Hanshaw and name our session Carving Record. It will be an arrival session with the subtype Natural Increase. Select Create Session. We'll firstly edit the animal details. Under the weight fields, I only need to see the weight itself, so I will turn off the unnecessary fields. I want the scan session to record the lot or mob. These calves can either be categorised as 2018 bull calves or 2018 heifer calves. Now for animal attributes. We will set the gender presets to bull or heifer. Our breed options in this case are Angus, Brahmin and Hereford. Set the cattle type to calves. For date of birth, you may opt to set a default date of birth which can be altered in the scan session as necessary. Under breeding traits, we can set the parentage. If many of the calves scan share a sire, it can be helpful to set the sire as a default. Select Parentage, Default and Add. Here, you can enter the animal's EID or viz tag. Then, tap the magnifying glass icon to search. This will automatically populate the necessary animal detail and you can specify whether the animal is the dam or sire under parent type. If you have multiple bulls, you could nominate these in a preset list. Additional parents can be added as required during the scan sessions. If artificial insemination or embryo transfer have been used, and the sire or dam is not an animal included within the stock on hand for that entity, you can nominate an external identifier. This may be the animal's breed society identifier number. Simply type the animal's ID into the animal lookup field, then tap the plus button next to the magnifier button. If you have previously bred from this animal, type in the breed society ID then the magnifying glass button to search for animals already entered into the system. Press continue to return to setup. We will show the birth weight field. There are a lot of other options available here, however we don't need them for our initial carving record. Under arrival and induction, we will set it to auto increment the ear tags. Set the origin PIC and the origin NVD, then press the back arrow to return to your session setup screen. Treatments can be useful to record tagging of calves. For example, users may record NLIS tags, management tags or breed society tags as separate treatment items and these tag types can be automatically applied within the session. For more information on setting up gates and movements, review Stockmate Tutorial 4. Ensure your hardware connections are set up and ready to go. Then we can start scanning. Again, the process here is the same as detailed in Tutorial 4. We've scanned an Angus bull calf, so we can set the mob, gender, breed and type accordingly. We will run with the default date of birth that we set in the scan session setup. Under parentage, you can add a different or additional parent by selecting add and entering the animal's EID or viz tag before pressing the magnifying glass icon, or enter the breed society ID, then tap the add icon. This will automatically populate the necessary animal detail 
and you can specify whether the animal is the dam or sire under parent type. If you have opted to include NLIS tags as a treatment, ensure this option has been applied. When finished, select Save and Close. Reporting on breeding processes and associated performance data is undertaken on the website. The Breeding Traits Report allows you to view stock on the basis of breeding and performance data and also to view the pregnancy and lactation status of dams. The customizable fields allow you to very specifically design a report to work for you. Navigate to Reports in the main menu, then select Breeding Traits. Here, users can filter by management area, cattle type and property and may choose to further refine their selections through attributes such as dentition, gender, mob, breed and owner. When you have selected the appropriate attributes, select the Load button next to the word Results. This will run a search and show the relevant animal detail. You can generate a more detailed report by setting up a custom report configuration. To do this, select the COG icon. This will open the current default configuration. Select Save As to make a copy of your report, name your report configuration, and then select the relevant dimensions and traits under Columns. Once you save your report configuration, this will be set as an option under the Report Configuration drop-down menu. The report will now show the specific attributes you've selected. This report can then be exported to a CSV file for your records. Select the Download CSV button and save the report to your computer. That concludes this tutorial on recording and reporting on livestock births, parentage and performance traits using Stockmate. For more information on running scan sessions using the Stockmate app, please see Tutorial 4.